Good morning, good morning, good morning. It's your girl, Becky D, live in the morning, seven days a week, 7 a.m. By now, y'all should be saying that thing in your head with me every single morning, right? Because y'all are active every morning because that shows that you are really trying to become the best you, right? You trying to figure this thing out called life like we all are, man. We all are. So, Wednesday. Let's recap real quick. We win Wednesday. Um, I've had some things come to line for me, and it was great. It was beautiful. Still working on a few things. I actually got out of my normal routine, um, but it's because I'm getting ready to get out of the routine for next week. So my We Win Wednesday was a little different and a little hectic, but so much got done, and it was very beneficial. Um, I even rearranged my living room to make it my temporary makeshift office so I could have a change of scenery um, to get things done, become more productive, you know, those type of things, those type of things. And um, also, I don't know if you pay attention to my Facebook post, but I'm getting some special guests lined up for my podcast. So next week we'll air the first one and um, we'll go on from there. So definitely make sure you tune it in. It's only going to be on Wednesdays. I'm going to be kicking it with somebody else. Um, So let's move into Thursday. That that Thursday, okay? So again, y'all know me. I love quotes. And I, I came across another one, okay? And it's about distance. There's so many people that I'm distanced from right now. Um, And the one thing that we are mostly distanced from is our dream. Okay. We're distanced from our dream and our reality. But there's a name for that distance. The name for the distance between dream and reality is called action. Simple as that. A-C-T-I-O-N. Action. Okay. So. In order for something to become a reality that you've been dreaming about, you got to put in some type of action, right? So what are you doing? What are you putting into action to make that happen? I don't mean the round dead, just happen, right? So we have it where we all are dreamers. We all have had great dreams and dream big and have goals and stuff for us to reach. But if we don't put any action into it, it will never become our reality. Okay. Um, and again, I always like to say that if it doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. So that kind of going to tie in hand to hand with that on this day. So the strength that I have. Is to know that if it's not big enough, if, if it doesn't scare me, it's not big enough. And that I have to remain fearless to go into these endeavors. Okay, I have to. Um, one thing, and it scares me because I don't know what people are going to say. I don't know how they're going to take my content. I don't know if they're going to like what I do. So I've been a little skeptical about it, but I moved on. I pressed on. I did what I had to do, and so far, so good. I I have not been disappointed. What Does that mean disappointment will not come my way? No, that doesn't mean that. That just means I can get more relaxed in what I do, and I can become successful in what I do, right? We operate so heavily on fear, and we don't even realize it. Think about it. If there wasn't some fear behind this whole COVID thing that's going on, no one would have cared. No one would even paid any attention because it didn't hit home for them. If there wasn't some fear that you'll never be able to go get groceries again, the grocery stores wouldn't be empty right now. Like, if they don't act on fear, then they know it's not going to sell. It's not going to get you to do anything. So they have to scare you. It's a scare tactic. Think about it. Hurricane season coming up. They're already broadcasting that there are going to be some nasty hurricanes. So people probably already got their wood in place, you know, 
so they can shelter up and stuff like that and cover up their windows and doors. But to me, it doesn't do that for me. Growing up now, while I was still yet a child, it used to do that. Like, you can ask my mom, my dad, whoever the case may be. Thunderstorms wasn't for me. Tornadoes definitely wasn't for me. A hurricane? Oh, no. Uh Uh-uh. Like, even lightning. Soon, let lightning, no, no, Mm mm-mm. What happened was, as a kid, my brother and I, my mom, um, she went to work or something like that, but she was on the way home. My brother and I, we were sitting right there, right there in the dining room, had a window. The dining room had a window that came in, but it was weird because the carport was right there, so we still don't know how it came through the window. But we were playing cards, you know, during the middle of the storm. We were sitting on the floor, at least, because he knew I was scared. So he he was being brick brother. He looked out for me. He had me, you know, we were sitting on the floor playing cards. He was trying to occupy my mind. I know what he was doing now. At the time, I just thought he was being, you know, nice. Um, now I know he was sheltering me. And so um, next thing I know, you know, all we see is this flash and go, phew, right there in front of a TV in the living room. And he looked at me and I looked at him. And to this day, we do not play cards while it's storming. Like, (laughs) you cannot pay us to play cards while it's storming. Um, But that type of stuff used to scare us. And now that we've become a little bit wiser, especially off of Wednesday, we know that, one, we don't have control over stuff like that. And two... What good is fear and being scared going to do about lightning? What control does that have? Going out and buying everything up, what control does that have? Get what you need to survive at the moment, okay? All right? So, it's Thursday, y'all. And we know that to connect our dreams and make them become realities, we have to put some type of action in. So what are you going to act on today? I know that I am going to continue to act on my businesses. And yes, I can put an S behind that now. Um, I have several businesses and there's still many more to come. Okay. I'm still going to act on the things that I need to mend in my life. The relationships I need to continue to build and fix. All right. Even the partnerships that I've had along the way that kind of fell off. I'm going to build and mend those. The friendships that I let fall by the wayside. I'm going to build and mend those. All right. But. Again, be cautious that you don't operate off of fear. All right. Now, I know I said that if it doesn't scare you, it's not big enough. But see, you got to realize I'm not saying be a afraid I said it should scare you it should make you nervous it should make you nervous that's not fear nerves is not fear nerves is something that is like should I you remember um oh gosh getting on a roller coaster especially for me you sitting there you're like I don't know if I should or not I just ate a pretzel and everything but you're nervous because it's an adrenaline rush and it's so big and you're just like I don't know if I should do this And you get on, you scream half your lungs away just to enjoy it. And then you want to do it again. And, you know, but that wasn't me because I found out roller coasters really ain't my forte. I'll try it one more time, one more time for old time's sakes. But they're not really for me. Just go ahead and put that out there. Um, So don't don't try to ask me to go to no amusement park, Celeste. You're going to let me eat and play games because I ain't getting on no ride unless it's a bump of cars. But, um, but yeah, so I was nervous. All right. Now I have a fear of my glasses falling off of high buildings. And so, AKA, I have a fear of heights, but mostly it's that my glasses are going to fall off my face because $300 just magically floating in the air. is not realistic to me. So that's, uh, that's a natural fear. That's different than being nervous. Does the fear make me nervous? Yes. 
That's the connection. And that's where people get misconstrued at. Okay. So on this day, start working on your action plan. The thing that connects a movie script to a screen is the director yelling action and recording. Okay. So now you write your script for your action plan, your action, and then produce the movie. Okay. That's the scene that we need to create. That's what we need to do. This here Thursday, let's get some stuff done. Let's tie up some loose ends. Let's pay the bills that we know we needed to pay, but you forgot. Yeah, that's a shout out to myself because um, I write it down 20 million places. I put an alert on my phone, everything. But you got to be specific in your messages and your alerts because my mind is bad. And um, I still didn't understand what I was talking about. So, yeah. But anyways, <laughs> Thankfully, they usually know me and they'll call me and be like, yeah, we know you forgot again. (laughs) That's horrible, isn't it? That's really bad. It's okay, though. They love me. But you guys have to understand that in order for something to occur, it has to be some type of action. Okay? In order for you to get that gold weight that you're trying to get to, you have to put action behind it, all right? Just sitting down ain't going to get it, all right? Some people believe you can eat your way to your certain weight. You probably could. I mean, if you can, I'm willing up for an experiment. I'll try it out and see if it works, but I just know some type of movement, some type of action has to be behind it, at least walking every day. But, I mean, even with those, you know, get fit quick schemes out there they still require you to do a little bit of work a little action um i'm not for counting calories and points and all that that's not me if i see a cheeseburger that's gluten-free and dairy-free i'm probably gonna eat it so yeah but then i use that as gains for when i work out yeah yeah so you gotta know how to work the system system don't let the system work you baby girl but on this day because I know I just did a lot of rambling in and out. That's my bad, y'all. It's Thursday. My last official work day before my big break. So these podcasts is going to get more in depth and more in tune because I don't have all day to think about the next day. And so it's just going to get richer and better. Okay, trust me. It's just going to be brewing and stewing. And y'all going to be like, oof, she said something there. And I'm like, I know I did. <laughs> but this is what I want you to do on a day. Okay, create that action plan. You don't have to act today. Just create the plan, whether it's on your lunch break, whether it's when you walking, whether it's when you exercising and you thinking, you can say, hey, Siri, or whatever the case may be. Alexa, um, Samantha, whoever else y'all got out there, Cortina, Cortina, that's how you say it now. And have them create you a list. Create that action plan. Okay. Then. Just then. Think of the first step you need to take. Don't act on it, but research the first step. Figure that out, all right? And then I want you to go ahead, share my podcast with five of your friends and help them get on their action plan and kind of get themselves together and get their lives on track to where they know it should be. But for some reason, they got thrown off the path, okay? So let's move them back. And last but not least, but I want you to know that my love for you will never change. It will always be the same. It's not going anywhere. And I can definitely believe that and say that with fullness of heart. No matter who you are, no matter what you did, no matter what you're going to do, no matter what you're going to be. I still love you. That's my gift. That's my that's my goal in life to love everybody genuinely. As always, my name is Becky D. We're Becky D in the morning. You all have a great day. Thursday and I will talk to you tomorrow morning.